Drift Corrections, Max Drift, and the Clock Code. Picture this. You're taking off IFR from runway 09, and you have the clearance. After departure, left turn, track 045. The surface wind was 060 degrees at 15 knots. How do you know what heading to fly? First of all, you need the upper wind. Assuming this is the northern hemisphere, we know it will veer roughly 30 degrees from the surface and double in strength, giving us an upper wind of 090 degrees at 30 knots. Next, we need to calculate the drift on the track. Start by calculating the max drift, the drift you would experience if your heading was 90 degrees to the wind. This is equal to 60 divided by your true airspeed, multiplied by the wind speed. Here, 60 divided by 90 multiplied by 30 equals 20 degrees max drift. Now all that is left is to calculate the drift on a given track. This is done using something referred to as the clock code. Take the angle from the track to the wind. Call 60 to 90 degrees full max drift. Anything up to 60 degrees, the amount of drift is equal to the angle as a fraction of 60 multiplied by the max drift. Here, the wind is 45 degrees from the track. 45 divided by 60 is 0 0.75, so the drift is 0 0.75 times the max drift, or 15 degrees. People call this the clock code, as the fraction of MD to apply is like the number of minutes around a clock. Your heading is the track plus or minus the drift. Make sure you apply this into wind. Here, track 045 plus 15 degrees of drift makes a heading of 060 degrees. If you fly this heading, you will track 045. And that's how you calculate.